people good morning it is December 9th 2023 and I think I missed somebody's birthday yesterday I believe it's Kathy's White's birthday so happy birthday Kathy we sure miss you I'm trying to get my timer so I stay on time There we go. Praise the Lord. This is the day that the Lord hath made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. You've tuned in to Matt and Randy in the morning. We're here to encourage you in the word so that you can be strong in the faith and live victoriously in Christ. God is good. Head on my heart, the assurance that Christmas reminds us. You know, that living hope that we have in Christ. And I am going to get right into what I believe the Lord had for us this morning. You know, I just want us to be encouraged in the Lord. Christmas can be a really tough time for some people, but yet in the midst of that tough time, Christmas reminds us of the hope that we have in Christ Jesus. God Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, was willing to send his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life that is what christmas is about jesus is the reason for the season you take christ out of christmas and all you have is mass and to me that is just a big mess <laughs> so let's get into the promises of the word the things that the word of god tells us Philippians 4.11 Not that I speak in regard to need, for I have learned in whatever state I am to be content. I know how to be abased, and I know how to abound. Everywhere and in all things I have learned both to be full and to be hungry, both to abound and to suffer. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. No matter what our situation is, because of Christ in us, that hope of glory, that Holy Spirit that Jesus said that when he went up to the Father, he was going to send the Holy Spirit to be with us. Because of that, we know that we are victorious no matter what comes our way. The victory is ours in Christ Jesus. It doesn't matter how things may look. God works all things together for the good to those who love him and are called according to his purpose. And if you're listening to this devotion right now, it's because God Almighty is wanting to draw you close to him. He wants you to know how much he loves you. And it doesn't matter what others say. What matters is what he says. Yesterday we were in, in the story of David and Goliath, and we have been talking about, you know, if the holidays seem like a giant Goliath to you, an enemy that's coming against you because of the way you feel and the things that happen, you know, just like David, got his strength from the Lord. And with that, he was able to defeat Goliath, not in the ways of this world, but just by trusting in God Almighty and being content with what he had. You know, he, Saul tried to give him his armor and he's like, no, that's, that's not what I'm used to wearing. He was used to having the Lord with him. You and I can do the same. We can trust that the Lord is with us and whatever comes our way, we will be able to defeat it because of Christ in us. He goes on and he says in verse 19 of Philippians 4, and my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Now to our God and Father be glory forever and ever. Amen. This is what I wrote down. David did not need the king's armor or sword. He just needed what he already had in his hand. God will give you exactly what you need to defeat your enemy. And it's not found in the ways of man. It may not make any rational sense to those looking on, but God. Mary was pregnant, not by man, but by God, Emmanuel, God with us. The God that made all the galaxies that man so seeks to find and to research 
is the God who lives in every believer. Think about that. He lives in every believer. Whew. It has not yet appeared to man the things that God has prepared for them that love him. 1 Corinthians 2.9 says, But as it is written, I has not seen, nor ear heard, nor have entered into the heart of man the things which God has prepared for those who love him. But God has revealed them to us through his Spirit. For the Spirit searches all the things, yes, the deep things of God. For what man knows the things of a man except the Spirit of the man which is in him? Even so, no one knows the things of God except the Spirit of God. And now we have received, not the spirit of the world, but the spirit of who is from, but the spirit who is from God, that we might know the things that have been freely given to us by God. These things we also speak, not in words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Spirit teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual, but the natural man does not receive the things of the Spirit of God, for they are foolishness to him, nor can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. Someone who does not have the Spirit of God is not going to understand your walk with the Lord. They're not going to understand at times when you trust God, when it seems an impossible situation. They don't understand how in the midst of a deep, deep sorrow you can also have a deep, deep comfort and inner joy. Because that is only through the Holy Spirit. 1 Corinthians 1.3 says, excuse me, 2 Corinthians 1.3 Praise be to God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of compassion and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our troubles, so that we can comfort those in any trouble with the comfort we ourselves receive from God. John fourteen fifteen. If you love me, keep my commandments, and I will pray the Father, and he will give you another helper, that he may abide with you forever, the Spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it neither sees him nor knows him, but you know him, for he dwells with you and will be with you. I will not leave you orphans. I will come to you. These things I have spoken to you while being present with you, but the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to remembrance all the things I said to you. You know, in those moments of trials, when you hide God's word in your heart, the scriptures will come. You'll remember a song, a, you know, a Christian song that has some words that has made from scriptures. God will help you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled. Neither let it be afraid. You have heard me to say, I am going away and I'm coming back to you. If you love me, you will rejoice because I am. Because of I said, I am going to the Father, for my Father is greater than I. You know, oh, Jesus went, but he said he is coming back to you. We look forward to the coming of our Lord. In Romans 8, 26, 27. Likewise, the Spirit helps us in our weaknesses. For we do not know what to pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. And he who searches the hearts knows what is in the mind of the Spirit, because the Spirit intercedes for the saints according to the will of God. Even to that point, when you don't know what to pray, the Holy Spirit inside of a believer will intercede to the Father for us. I mean, God loves us so much. He says he'll never leave us nor forsake us. The Lord is with us always. I wanted to read Psalms 34, but we are out of time. So if you can, pick up Psalms 34. 
Let it encourage you. Let it bring a song of praise into your heart. It says in verse 18 of Psalm 34, The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart and saves such as have a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Oh. In verse 22, the Lord redeems the soul of his servants. I also was going to read 1 Thessalonians 4, but we don't have time. But remember that Christ is to Christmas is to remind you that Jesus has come. The promised Messiah that was promised all the way back in Genesis 3. The one that the prophets spoke of, David sang of, has come. And now we wait for his second coming because he came, he died on a cross, but rose again and said he will come back. What a day of rejoicing that will be. Loved ones that have gone before us, we will meet in the air. Oh, and together we will be with the Lord forever, is what the Word of God says. We may miss our loved ones that have gone before us, but we have a hope that we will see them again. So you can keep a praise song in your heart. Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say, rejoice. We'll see you tomorrow. Service at church is 1030 in the morning. For worship, 11 a.m. is a live stream. And we are going to have our Christmas get-together after service on December 17th. I believe it's 17th. That's Sunday. The ne not this Sunday, but next Sunday. Immediately after service, we will stay and just fellowship together to rejoice in our God Almighty. Celebrate his birthday because it is his birth that we are celebrating this Christmas.